Shake it down. Hi, my name is Gordy. I'm with Narconon of Georgia. We just received a phone call from a mother who's concerned about her daughter, and we're going to go do an intervention. Her daughter is in a crack house in South Atlanta, and we have to go down and, and try to get her back here and to get her out of the crack house and save, save her life. Yeah, today's uh, April 14th, 2009. Uh, we're going uh, to a crack house to do an intervention at the request of a mother. And, um, and I'm with Bob, and uh, Bob is had uh, experience in doing interventions. And what uh, what can you tell me, Bob, about uh, some of the things that you've done and some of the things that uh, uh, that we can do? Most of the times I'm going in, I'm going out in without police departments, just because we knew the area, the individual could get out of the house, and uh, we didn't have to make any direct contact with the dealer. So it was a lot safer. We made one where we actually had to go into the house, but uh, it was a calmer home, I would say. Usually, okay. Usually the people are high and willing to move in any direction you want to go in. I know. Okay. We've yeah. had enough. We're right. on the way. And hopefully when we get there, everything is going to work out and we'll have cooperation. And, uh, yeah, I understand from Ryan that we do have cooperation with the people inside the house trying to get uh, this young lady out. So I think this should go pretty smooth. Okay. Yeah, Ryan, I was wondering if you could tell us uh, about the area that we're going in and what kind of an area it is and what, what should we expect. Probably the second worst place in Atlanta. But it ain't good. Not good at all. It's, uh, a lot of dealers. Okay. A lot of drugs. A lot of drugs, a lot of dealers, a lot of bad people. That don't give get don't care about her. Right. So we're just going in there with the idea that uh, uh, we're gonna do the intervention and get her out of there and uh, get her in a, an, in a safe place and, and uh, you know, without anything going wrong. That's where we're going. But it's definitely uh, one of the hard-nosed places, right? Yes, it's, it's not good. <laughs> it's not good at all. The sheet is off the chain. Definitely off the chain. Probably a good thing we're going to get her now because it's. Uh, <laughs> they're not real happy with her. And this has been the only semi safe ha safe haven this girl's got. Yeah. yeah. Whole new definition of safe. Yeah. And do you know this young lady? You know anything about her? Is, is does she want help? Is she willing to? Uh, to get help and, and straighten her life out. Okay, and when we uh, do the intervention and go get her, then it's not going to be something that uh, it wasn't worth it. But you know her well enough to know that uh, that she's worth saving. Let me ask you on the uh, the interventions that you've done in the past. Uh, do you think it's uh, you must believe that uh, a person is worth saving? I think all people are saving. I'm not really sure well when they want to be saved, but everybody's worth saving. And everybody's yeah. always worth a second and third chance until they get it right. Case with this young lady, I think she uh, she really wants to help. Uh, as Ryan said earlier, I, he knows her quite well. Okay, well, it sounds like uh, uh, that 
getting her out of that area, um, you know, the way it's been described, the area, uh, we're going to be doing her a mighty big favor. You I know, don't have to yes. Yeah. She stays she, there, she won't make it. She's even worn out her welcome with the one person she had as a friend. So, it doesn't put you anywhere but on the street and the sidewalk. 